so hello and welcome guys to my youtube channel today we will talk about how to install intellij idea and how to run our first java program so let's get started first of all you should open your any of the browser in my case uh, i have chosen the chrome browser oh, no uh, i have chosen the brave browser yeah, then first of all you have to go to the search bar and type intellij idea yeah you can show there are lots of results are coming here you just simply click on the first link then you go to the next navigation bar and click on the download and there are two versions of IntelliJ idea like uh, one of it is ultimate and other, another one is a community version uh, if you want to uh, download a pro version then you should go for a ultimate uh, which is a paid uh, paid with some memberships and you and you can see there are features include in paid and free versions like you can check on their website so i am just going to download uh, the community version so let's if you are on a, a window or any mac operating system you will choose according to your operating system like if you want if you are on a mac or and uh, linux operating system then you will change the bars from here and choose according to your operating system so i am going to download this uh, community version so i will click here yes and then after you will see uh, it's prompt me for a downloading so i am not gonna download it again i have already downloaded it so open to my file manager here you can see i have already downloaded it so yeah it's about 592 mb around so click double click on the file size and you will see it's a start installing yeah you have to click next and on which location you want to install your intelligent you choose uh, by default it is, it is choosing a program file jetbrains intellij idea and you can see whatever it is and it required only 2.4 GB of spaces so I'm going to set it to default then I will click on the next and here are the options which are optional if you like to choose like I'm going to create a desktop shortcut so I will check this and add the path of the bin and the and I'm going to install this for Java so I will create this for Java and add open folder as project you simply check this options what I have checked and this program will will save on the JetBrains folder then after I will click install it will take few minutes so let's wait for a second yeah there are two options uh, reboot now and I want to manually reboot later yeah, so for now I will do it uh, manually then finish okay so let's go to our desktop yeah you can see here uh, our desktop shortcut icon is created here so let's double click on it it will just prompt yeah these are the if you are if you are installing this new community version yeah or any newer version of pycharm or any other you will see this kind of prompt if you want to enable this feature uh, you just simply enable it uh, if you don't just cancel it configure installation uh, do not import settings okay now click on the new project yeah in the earlier version you will have seen that here is a simple java generator and but here you are seeing uh, Java FX but you simply have to create on a new project select the folder here Java is already selected build system is IntelliJ idea then you will create okay in just a few seconds it will, it will create a file uh, you can see here in the source folder you have to just double click and create a new and create a Java file and I will create it as hello.java 
okay so i have created this file and i am going to show you the first program and how to run it and i will simply paste the program i have copied earlier yeah then you have to go run and run this and added configuration okay 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 i think i didn't have configure I think now it's configured. Now run it. Yeah, this is the our program. Hello world. You can see. It's taking time. In a few seconds it will run. Yeah, you can see here in the output in the terminal. Yeah, it is saying hello world as same we have passed here in the system dot output print line. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you find this video informative, do share with your friends and uh, keep subscribe our channel. Thank you.